Welcome, 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 ladies and gentlemen. Adam here, aka the Sound Scotsman, and this is episode 33 of Smart Souls, where we take on the dreaded DLC. Just kidding. Should be a good laugh. Let's get going. So, if you don't know why I now have this, it's because I have the pendant. It was in the Jailbreak episode of Smart Souls, Jailbreak in the Duke's Archives. We, we killed the Blue Golem, got the pendant, and now we can come back here and go ahead and do this. So there we are, straight to the bonfire, let's get it kindled. So I've asked Jude to give us a hand with this boss, because the first boss is an absolute stonker. The thing is, you're going to notice that this is probably the most aggressive boss you've ever fought. In fact, there's no maybe it's about it. It is, it is the most aggressive boss fight you're, that you have fought so far. Okay, so the key thing to do is make sure you are light, your lightning defense is quite high. I've opted for Ornstein's armor for the most part, a Black Knight shield, and I'm just using a scythe. I want to do the tail, tail cut for you guys, just so you can see it. I've also turned down the vo the volume quite a lot because this is the noisiest bloody boss in the whole game. So without further ado, actually I'll give you a wee look. I actually have put on the thunder stone plane ring as well just for the extra lightning defense. So Ornstein leggings, Ornstein gauntlets, Ornstein armor, still have my crown of dusk, don't need the bow, black knight shield, Great Scythe, Fire, plus 10, and Logan's Catalyst. I might even actually put on a couple of pieces of Green Blossom, just as a precaution. Okay, let's get ready. So, as you know, nothing in this fight, nothing in this DLC at all, has anything to do with the Platinum Trophy. So any tail cuts, anything like that, it is purely for fun, if you want the item. I really want to get you this. I want to get you this tail cut just so you can see it. So we're trying our best to not actually kill the boss right now, but just to get the tail. So I really do suggest if you have a friend that can help you. I mean, look at that aggression, it's ridiculous. The other thing is, I don't think they actually really intended anybody to do the DLC solo. I think it was actually their intention to bring out these crazy bosses so it would encourage co-op. He also does poison as well, so having some purple moss is also a handy little thing. When he lands, he shows off his tail. So he usually does a flying attack and then he, he plants his tail down and that's when you're supposed to make the cut. Oh, there we are. I'll take the poisoned. Oh, there. That was the opportunity we were looking for. Oh, 
one more should do it. I did catch the tail there. There it is again. There we go, we got it that time. And now we can kill the boss. It's not too bad, really, when you do have a friend helping you, but if any of you don't have a friend, you guys are going to be pretty much shit out of luck. You're going to be here for a while. And there we go. Now, the most important thing now... The most important thing that I need to tell you is that all bonfires in the DLC are warpable. So you want to light every single one of them. There's four. Let's go and get the next one. Here we are, it's a straight shot. So obviously you want to sit and kindle the bonfire, all that sort of stuff. There is a humanity on this side and that mushroom there is a friend. So don't kill it. If you missed any sorceries from Dusk, then the Mushroom will probably have them in stock for you. Just say yes to her question. This is a different character, but I just want to show you something cool. Well, it's probably more horrific than cool. But after we take on the next boss, Knight Artorius, look what happens. There's two of them. Isn't that just bloody crazy? Behind this gravestone is where you pick up the piece of humanity. Now, in the interest of showing you what I was talking about with the mushroom, this character is in New Game Plus, but I haven't actually bought everything from Dusk with this character. I actually I, I went in New Game and bought everything from Dusk, but then in New Game Plus I did not buy a thing. So here, Watch this. The answer will be yes, but I've already spoke to her. Look, the spells are there. So that's just sort of a, a to show you that this is a merchant a bit like Dusk. And you can collect anything that you did miss uh, before she disappeared. Okay, so now that you've seen the mushroom and know the deal with that, I've asked Jude to join us again. Because I want to get this in one clean shot. And of course it's going to take down the time of killing off all the enemies so I can show you the loot in one go rather than having to wait and then split up the episode and all that sort of stuff and try and keep the time down on the video. So. Thankfully, Jude is joining us for the mission. Let's get cracking. So, you obviously notice I've got the big shield on. Not essential, but I like it. I do like it. I like it mainly for the last boss fight, but, um,. Like the last boss fight in the game, not necessarily the DLC, but I do like it for the DLC as well. If I didn't have that, I'd probably pick a Boulder Shield, a Black Knight Shield, something like that. Just something with a bit of stability, because these motherfuckers are badass when you see them, these big giants. But first on the hit list, we're actually going to go up here and grab some treasure. And I'm going to show you where the shortcut is for the way back. Interesting, noteworthy that coming up this, coming up here, if you're having any trouble with enemies, just a little bit of hidden body works wonders. Now, was there? No, there isn't. 
treasure behind that one but there is treasure behind that one we'll come back to that in a little second this contraption here this is the shortcut that we will have access to in just a little bit but first let's grab this guardian gauntlets happy days next on the hit list the blue slab which we do have to get from in the water just down there where these guys are now we do end up aggroing them most of uh, I think they come in about sets of three or four it's the big guy we're worried about we're not too fussed about these guys but see there's two giants there and they're, they're all aggroed all at once it would have been slightly better obviously if we got one of the giants at a time see when he does that though be bloody careful because when they put the when they put the axe in the ground they bring it back out and you get one hell of an attack out of them anyway let's go get our oh, twinkle and titanite nice that was the big guy that dropped that but this, this is what we really, really want. Blue Titanite Slab. Happy days, happy days, happy days. Praise it. Right, next. So that's the that's the treasure for the actual... This side of the woodland, if you like. See, told you that attack is no joke. Hence the nice, stable shield. Nice, another bit of Twinkle and Titanite, lovely. So, we're going to the edge here. For your point of reference, there's the bridge there. Okay, so we went up and round, all the way up and round and down. But obviously you could just go up the bridge and walk straight across here. And that would bring you to this point. Hmm. It's obviously trying to lure us into a trap and those guys up there as well. They don't always notice you, but sometimes they do. Okay. So there's no treasure along that little bit of the banking, but there is over there in the corner. She's good, isn't she? Everybody should have a Jude. Brute Force Jude. That's just my nickname for her. But shh, don't tell her. Oh, mega cool. Mega, 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 mega cool. Black Dragon Calamite. A bit like that part in Firelink Shrine with the Hellkite Dragon. That only happens once. Lizards. Oh, thank you. Lovely. Whoop, watch your back. See, they don't like magic. They don't like magic at all. Physical damage, of course, was pitiful, but... Hmm. 
Now, this is the bit I'm not overly keen on. Yes, this is the bit I don't like. I know it's like a tiny little gap, but you, you guys by know, you know by now how much I hate heights. So that's the reason. It's the heights that I do not like. Now this bit here is, I mean, it, that's quite a big jump. So I'm not gonna lie to you, it does make me nervous. So I'm actually gonna take off the shield and the leggings. Because I just, well, you know, you know me, you know me by now. There we go, I've made it. Yes, the absolute beauty. So that's the helmet there. That's the, for, for me personally, that's the worst bit of the DLC out of the way. Ah, f the, the timing's quite bad, I have to admit. But, I'll cut this fight out. As you can see, I did have to mark the spot there. I was uh, rudely interrupted by an invader, unfortunately, but we did we did kill him off, and you know I haven't lost my place. We're in exactly the same position that we were in before. So let's loop around, shall we? Uh, the most efficient way to go for us would be actually we can grab this little bit of treasure that's tucked away in the corner first. There should be a mushroom around here, in this little corner. Yeah. You'll be able to see that in a moment from up above, from up there. But what we are going to do... There isn't any really right or wrong answer. I mean, we could go that way and get the shortcut. Or we could go in the bigger sort of a horseshoe shape, if you like, and come back to that point, which is what we are going to do. We're going to go around the horseshoe and come back there. There is a little bit on top of that cliff. Remember where, where I just picked up the mushroom? There is actually a, a piece of the armour set, I believe up on that hilltop, which we will get in just a little moment. While Jude's killing off the enemies for us, I want to show you something cool. There's a guardian armour. We're getting close to getting the full set, guys. See along that river bank there, that treasure way off in the distance, not the upper part, but the lower part. Uh, we're going to get that soon as well. I'm going to show you where all that is. That is actually a part of the level down there. So yeah, that's kind of cool. Just getting my bearings a wee bit. Which way around to... Actually, do you know what? Well, way back. Well, way back. Round here. Drop down. And we'll go up this way. See, there's my prism stones. That's where I was a moment ago. Right. So we'll grab this little bit of loot here. There's a little bit up on here. So that's how we get across that bank in. And that's the bridge, yeah. That is the bridge where we got Calamite just a moment ago. So we can pick this up. Not overly worth it at this point.
Okay, nice. Now, up we go. Now, that lizard there, you know how much I fucking love the lizards. I'm actually personally not going to worry too, too much about missing that one. I'll get them later. Instead, what I'm going to do is grab the treasure that's round here. we seen that from the other side there, right? Dispatch of these guys. I mean, when you're doing this, Fair enough, go and get the shortcut if you want first, but because it is a bit dangerous. But I would just rather show you the treasure and then get the shortcut and then end the episode there. Oh, my poor pal. My poor buddy. So, let's go and get the last piece of loot, and then we can get the, the shortcut opened. So, just ignore those guys in the centerpiece. Gold coin. Swap that with Framp if he's still open. Open for business. And we finally get to come up here where Yes. See the mushroom was in that little tunnel there on that corpse. Prism stones are there. We've looped back on ourselves and we get this final piece. Soul of Brave Warrior. So that is all the treasure. That's all of it. Now we can go back and get that shortcut. This shortcut here. Perfect. Here we are. So, just about time to finish up. The boss fight is down that way. I have something to show you that way. The NPC we're going to talk to in the next episode, but for the now, I just want to show you how to get safely back to the bonfire. So here we are, right back at the start. We came up along that way and that was where we picked up our first piece of the armour set. So thank you very much for watching. This is one of those to be continued moments. So see you in the next video folks, ciao for now.